In this video, I'll show you how you can create a content locker on OG ads that makes you money every time someone completes a human verification action. I'll explain in this video everything that you need to do. I'll walk you through the whole process. So if it does help you out, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. First, I'm gonna log into my OG ads account. If you don't have one, then make sure you go ahead and sign up here. Now, once you're on OG ads, you want to go ahead and go to tools and then content lockers. And that will redirect you to this page here where we can create our content locker. So I've already got some that have been created here. But what you wanna do, you wanna to go to create a content locker in the top right hand corner, and that will redirect us to this page. Now by default, we'll be creating a locker for mobile, but you can, you can edit desktop lockers as well on this page. Now, don't forget when you're creating the locker, OG Ads is mainly aimed at mobile traffic, so for people to go ahead and go to your content, they'll just have to install an app. Now this is a lot easier and a lot easier to get conversions than targeting desktop traffic where people need to go ahead and do surveys. So first we're gonna start on the basic tab. Here you need to go ahead and enter in a name of the locker. Now this won't show up anywhere, so I'm just gonna call it test for YouTube. And then in the notes, I'll just put YouTube here. Now we can scroll down and we've got the load method. This is how the content locker is going to load. Now you've only got one option if you don't have any JavaScript and that is appear after the page is loaded. So once your page loads, your content locker will, will appear at the top of it. Now you can add a, a delay. So if you've got some content that you want them to see before your content locker is shown, you can maybe put two seconds here. So that means that your content and the page that you're sending people to will load and then two seconds after uh, your content locker will load this is good if you want to give them a preview and make your viewers see what content they're missing then scrolling down you've got two options to unlock the action you can either remove the locker which will stay on that page and it will just simply remove the locker or you can redirect them to another url now if you click this you're going to have to redirect them to a URL which you can enter in here. Now for me, I'll just click on remove locker and then we'll scroll back up. Now if we go to advanced, we can see here the conversions required. Now you wanna keep this on one. So after one conversion, they will then have access to your content. You can add a payout threshold as well. Um, this means that you can go into the offers manually and you can see what the minimum payout threshold would be for the offers that you want. It just means you're not gonna get a lot of low paying out offers. Now, I wouldn't do this personally, I just keep all offers on, uh, but once you're getting a lot of traffic, it might be beneficial to add a payout threshold. So you only get like kind of like mid to high tier paying offers. And then on the access time here, the amount of time the locker will be unlocked, which is in minutes. So by default, it's on an hour. You can go and change that if you want. You've then got desktop specific and mobile specific tabs where we can customize the looks and how kind of like how the content locker acts first i'm going to do mobile because that's where most of your traffic will probably come from you've got here you've got your mobile theme which you can go ahead and change and just go ahead and change this to experiment with different themes and make your content locker look different to other people's some of these are better than others so you're going to have to flick through them and just see what works for you and your content locker you've then got your mobile title so some people like to put human verification required. Then scrolling down, you've got your mobile description. So this is gonna be this piece of text here. Unlocking will allow access to premium content. You can go ahead and change that if you want to. You've then got mobile offer type sort, and you can decide here which gets priority. I would just go ahead and leave this on default, which is cost per install, prioritized, which is going to be your apps. Then you've got CPA offers, which are going to be like cost per action offers and then pin offers as well, which are gonna require pin details. I would prioritize for mobile cost per install, which means that your viewers and the people that are coming to your locker only have to install an app. The maximum amount of offers I would show is five to six. Don't go and show any more because they might get a bit overwhelmed. So just go ahead and show five and they'll all show anyway on the screen. So they won't have to scroll down and see loads and loads of offers. And then you can go ahead and customize the theme if you've got custom CSS. You can go, you can go and do all of this with desktop specific as well. Um, but for the video, I'm not going to run over 
over that because it's basically the same thing just for the desktop themes. Once you're happy with all of that, scroll down and click on create locker and your locker has been successfully saved. So here it is, test YouTube. We can then go to actions and then view details. And here we can choose a domain. So if you've got your own do domain, you can choose that. If not, you can choose one of these. And then if we scroll down here, here is our URL. This is going to go to our, our locker. Just to test it, we're going to go ahead and paste it in here. And it's going to say content locked and it's going to show our locker. If you're on mobile, it will show the mobile locker that we've just also configured. That's how you can create a content locker on OG Ads. If that video helped, please do leave a like and make sure you do subscribe for more.